Hey everyone, welcome back to another Joe Bonamassa lesson here and today we'll be looking at a phrase I picked up again from another interview and um, it's great to watch Joe Bonamassa noodle around. You can see him play what he likes to naturally do and um, this phrase is a great one to practice on its own purely for the position shifts that uh, go along with this and we we're purely in the key of A minor with A minor pentatonic. I don't think we use a single note outside of that actually. Come to think of it now in this phrase, but it's not easy because of the position shifts, the uh, two note per string picking that we need to kind of get used to for it. So I'm going to say firstly, it's going to be more of an advanced kind of phrase here. So getting the basics down for the technique is kind of required. But I'm going to show you the notes anyway. People might just want to try and go for it and learn it, which is fine. So in the key of A minor, so as I said, this sort of, that sort of thing, you know, that sort of thing is required, you know, getting used to that technique. Um, so yeah, I would say just practice that hammer as much as possible and then we can get into what we're doing here. So the three different positions that we'll be using, obviously the first one, then we have this um, position two here, so slowly the notes for this. Okay. Um, but we'll only be really using these notes here for this um, uh, in this position for this phrase. So they're the main ones, and and we have position three up here. Uh, using the little finger as well, we'll have. Okay, so they're the three main um, areas we'll be focusing on and shifting through. Okay, so let's get to the actual phrase a little bit slower. And again, even slower. Right, um, so as you can see a lot of shifting going on here. So we'll start off on the G string on the 12th fret doing a full tone bend. Okay, and then we have this phrase that we might want to practice on its own. Okay. So what this is, um, is the 10th fret on the um, B to the 13th fret, okay? I start this all alternate picking and on a up stroke, okay? So, so up, down, and 10, 13. And then on the high, we go 10, 12, 15, 12, 10. Up, down, up, down, up. Okay? And then we have a down, up on the 13 to the 10th on the B. So that would be a good thing to practice firstly for this. Then we, after that we hit the, the 12th fret again on the G. And then with the second finger I slide down to the 9th fret. So... Okay. And after I do that, um, this is where we've, you know, switched to the uh, second position here. And then we go up to the B string with a down stroke here. Um, for some descending uh, two notes per string um, sort of thing going on. So we have on the, um, well over four strings this will be, so it'll be the B, the G, the D and the A. On the B, the two descending notes will be 10th fret to the 8th fret. Then we'll have 9th fret to 7th fret on the G. Then 10th to 7th on the D and then 10th to 7th again on the A. So we'll have... This is where I sometimes have a bit of trouble, you know, shifting there on the uh, B to the G. Sometimes it's easy to hit, like, the wrong note somewhere, but... So, yeah. So, after that, we're then shifting again over four strings 
We're going to do, do another descending um, two note per string similar to the last um, but over the low four strings. So we'll be position one now and up to the G string. We'll go seven five down up on the G, then seven five on the D, and then the same seven five on the A, and then eight five on the low E. Okay. So, firstly the bend. Then we have the which you went over. Then the second finger here sliding down. So. Then we have the four notes, um, sorry, the four string descending pattern on position two. And then the four uh, string descending pattern on position one. So they're the kind of main bits the bend, then, then slide, and then, and then. Okay? So really great thing to practice um, if you can try and warm up with something like that um, it'll really uh, make a lot of other things at least that I play um, seem a little bit easier um, but I think it's a really cool lick anyway um, something which you know if you want to learn Joe Bonamassa style he definitely uses this phrase so yeah if you liked the video then feel free to subscribe and um, you can find more in the future popping up whenever so Good times. See you soon.